I think today's been tremendous because any opportunity to bring employers and recruiters from the hotel or from the hospitality industry together with students works so well because both sides learn from the other. I think it was a great opportunity for us and I finally um, seem to recognise that we are doing something that is related to our, to our career. It really is just a, a huge, huge array of talent coming into our business. You learn from people like this uh, range of experience and uh, that was amazing. I think what we need to do in our industry is um, not be ashamed and be a little bit more aggressive about our, our industry and say we are the fourth largest largest employer in the UK stand up and listen to us. I think one of the great steps towards it has been the big conversation which the British Hospitality Association and, and Springboard organised um, because that has brought different sectors together talking about the career opportunities. Students need to be able to look at all those opportunities that are available to them but be able to talk to the right people is this the right industry, sorry, the right company for them? So many are focused on hotels. Um, and I would just say be aware of the, the whole landscape of the industry because there, there are so many opportunities in it. You may have heard this brand you. It's all about your, your brand. And that has never been so true as it is today. Um, the way that you write an email, the way that you, you speak on the phone, um, is your LinkedIn profile up to date? What the industry hasn't woken up to yet is that this is a £12 billion market um, as identified by Visit England and potentially another £1.8 billion per month according to the charity scope is sitting at home too afraid to go out to hotels and restaurants. Um, it's a huge opportunity and, and one this industry needs to do more and more about. Eunice is often characterised as low pay and low skilled and you know, in, in key elements it is, but at the same time we desperately need people in senior roles, you know, 229,000 dwarfs, construction, a uh, lot of manufacturing and it's something the industry isn't good at getting across at times and certainly when we're sort of dismissed as just creating loads of sort of uh, low skill jobs it's something we need to fight more. Um, my favourite interview question is are you lucky? How, how many people in this room are lucky? Put your hands up if you're lucky because if you didn't put your hand up you wouldn't get a job uh, with me. You know for my business I want um, though it's positive, I want to recruit on attitude and positivity and if you want to be successful in this business you need to have a positive attitude and you need to be demonstrating that. So success means different things, some of it's action, some of it's feeling and I think this is an important question for you to ask yourself several times through your career and success for me is a balance of lots and lots of things. And in hospitality, because it's a demanding business, because it's demanding on our hours, it's demanding on our time, can be a challenge to keep a balance. One of the things that always impresses us when actually some of the uh, candidates that we get coming to us can actually spout us some facts and figures that we didn't even know about the company. Try to think about the goals you have in mind because that will help set the direction for you, the sort of companies you want to work for, the sort of people you want to work for. When you are working with hospitality chains like Starwood and you have such a well-defined brands under the Starwood umbrella, it's really important that you personalize the actual application towards the brand. Whatever work experience you do have, even if it's not directly related to the role, Again, it will tell a story about you and it will set you apart. I think the fact that anyone starts doing a degree of any kind or educational work demonstrates they want to excel in life and in their career. And it's just making sure that's really clear on the application to show what they have done that's above and beyond and shows the passion of what they want to do. You have to be passionate. You have to be true to yourself. You can't Google experience. And I don't mean that um, in a derogatory way, um, but experience is something that gets, you learn through experience, you learn from making mistakes, you get whacked on the floor, you pick yourself up again, you learn from it. You can't Google that. So that's where that expression comes from. Seek first to understand before being understood. 
That's not my phrase, that's Stephen Covey. Um, and that is a metaphor for you've got to keep continually learning um, and de developing your skills and knowledge. And the final one is stretch yourself and show courage. You've got to move yourself out of a comfort zone into a place that quite honestly scares you. The speech from Danny Peccarelli, I think, has been really influential on me, um, personally because it's the company that I want to work for. So today has been really inspirational. Um, I've met so many amazingly interesting people. The great thing about events like this is they build every year, and I'm sure that next year, London branch of the Institute of Hospitality will raise, will organise another student learning forum. And my guess is, judging by today, it will be bigger and better.